The Pian Pa 49, Katy, was a small French experimental jet aircraft designed by aviation innovator Roland Pian. Developed in the early 1950s, it became the first French tailless jet aircraft and one of the smallest operational jet aircraft of its time. It embodied Pian's passion for unconventional delta-winged tailless aviation concepts dating back to the 1930s. The Pia 49 was conceived as a scaled-down, post-war continuation of Pian's earlier and more ambitious delta-winged interceptor project, the Pa 48 3 Mars. While the Mars never flew, it laid the groundwork for the compact, single-seat Pa 49. Constructed entirely from wood, the aircraft measured 5.10 meters in length with a height of 2.50 meters and delta wings featuring a 55-degree leading-edge sweep and a 30-degree trailing-edge sweep. The design eliminated a horizontal stabilizer entirely, relying on inboard elevators and outboard ailerons for pitch and roll control. The jet was powered by a Turbomeca Palace turbojet engine, producing 1.47 kilonewtons, 330 pounds force of thrust, equivalent to approximately 50 kilogram force. Air intakes were integrated into the wing roots, just ahead of a compact cockpit, which led into a tall, sharply swept fin inclined at about 75 to 78 degrees, containing a full-depth rudder. Initial configurations included a low bicycle-type undercarriage with wingtip skids, but this was soon replaced by a fixed tricycle gear. It was later improved with fared main gear legs and spats by the time of its public exhibitions. The aircraft's first flight took place on January 22, 1954, at Mellon Villaroche, piloted by Tony Oxenbein, a relatively inexperienced test pilot with only 30 minutes of prior jet time. Prior to this, the aircraft had undergone wind tunnel testing at Onura's Chalet's Madon facility and taxi trials starting in November 1953. A short hop on December 16, 1953, served as a prelude to the official maiden flight, which was briefly delayed due to a last-minute requirement for the pilot to wear a crash helmet. Following 10 hours of factory testing, the Pa 49 was transferred to the Centre d'Essai en Vol at bretigny sur orge in April 1954 for formal military evaluation. While the aircraft's performance was underwhelming at low speeds, with a maximum speed of around 400 kilometers per hour, 310 miles per hour, and a range of approximately 450 kilometers, 280 miles, it demonstrated adequate aerobatic capability. At Center de Say en Vol, it received a novel split rudder air brake, nicknamed the crocodile jaw. The rudder surfaces would separate into a V-shape for braking and function conventionally for yaw. Developed by Payen's own firm, Flecher SA, this innovation later inspired control surface experimentation in aircraft like the Concorde and found a legacy in the Space Shuttle's vertical stabilizer. In 1955, the PA-49 appeared at the Salon International de l'Aeronautique at Le Bourget, and again in 1957, now updated with spatted undercarriage and redesignated the PA-49B. A proposed variant with retractable gear was never built. A plan to fly the aircraft to Italy for a demonstration in 1957 was also abandoned, though a 130-liter belly fuel tank had been prepared for the journey. The PA-49 completed around 180 hours of flight over nearly 300 tests before being retired. In 1958, Roland Payen donated it to the Musée de l'Air et de l'Espace at Le Bourget Airport, where it remains preserved. Payen continued to explore delta wing designs into the 1970s with the PA-71 and PA-149, directly evolving from the Katy. While the PA-49 never achieved mass production, its significance lies in its pioneering aerodynamic form, tailless layout, and contribution to later aerospace control technologies. It remains a fascinating chapter in the history of French experimental aviation.